If you are tuning into sex trades with Jacqueline of all trades, please make sure you are over 18. This content is not suitable for children or safe for work. If you have a child or someone under 18 in the room, this is your warning. Don't blame me if they hear this. Smooches! Hi everyone, welcome to Sex Trades. It's me, Jacqueline of All Trades, your most gracious and curvaceous host. Thank you so much for joining us this episode. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying every single episode that's been out already. And uh, liking, subscribing, doing all the things. Please, please, please make sure you follow MNP Podcast on Spotify, um, on Apple. Uh, subscribe, like, and do whatever you need to do for all the platforms. Uh, on uh, YouTube, please follow us at Modern Pencil Productions. Um, and MNP After Dark for sex trades. Um, uh, please make sure you subscribe so you uh, you'll get notified whenever you want a video comes out. And please like and comment on all the videos. It would mean so much to me. Um, I am so excited about this episode. Uh, let's get right into it. So I, this episode I'm going to talk about makeup. Clearly, um, I don't wear any makeup because I just wake up like this. No. Um, I love makeup. I love uh, putting it on others, I love putting it on myself, um, but I think that it needs to be even more normalized for anyone to wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis if they want to. I think it's such a great form of expressing yourself and showing the world who you are. Um, I haven't yet felt comfortable enough to really wear makeup as a boy out into the world. I think the most I've ever done is like some highlighter. And even with that, I've gotten some comments, and uh, I really just don't think it matters. Like, why do people care about such a? Oh, it just it hurts me so much. And um, but because of those comments, I have like sometimes toned myself down, and I shouldn't have to do that. And I know that, but sometimes you assimilate to the world around you so that it's um, easier, I guess. But I think this. Uh, these past two years or whatever that I've been, you know, coming more into my own and accepting myself even more and all that fun stuff, which has been amazing and a great journey, um, but it has definitely been a journey. Like, it didn't just happen overnight. It's, uh, it's, it's been teaching me a lot about myself, and I think that um, soon enough I will be more comfortable with wearing makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I think today when I go to work, I'm probably going to put um, a little bit of eyeshadow on and a little bit of highlighter because why not? Um, I won't put a full face on and also I don't necessarily want to put a full face on every single day because that's a lot of work. I don't know some of I don't know how some of the people out there do it. Like props to you if you do do that because that is amazing. Um, but I also don't want to be like preaching saying that you need to wear makeup and all that because that's not what I'm talking about at all. I just think it's a great way to express who you are and express yourself. It's the like, same way with clothes. Um, if we can express ourselves with clothes and shoes, why can't we express ourselves with makeup? Uh, but I don't know why some people look down upon it, especially for um, boys or men to wear it. Like, fuck off. First of all, don't assume what my gender is. And second of all, if I'm wearing makeup, it's on my face. How does it affect you in any way? It doesn't. So shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> I, uh... I just don't understand why people care about that kind of stuff and like why people would like treat you differently because of that. Um, it's just, it's so crazy to me. Um, anyway, I, I could just ramble on about this forever, but my whole point with this topic, I guess, was it's so fun to express yourself with makeup. It's so much, um, it brings me joy. Um, I'm sure it brings other people joy. So let's, you know, be better as people and not put people down for the way they express themselves with the way with what they're wearing or what uh, they have on their face. Um, they, um, this episode is kind of like supposed to be like a little lighthearted and fun. Uh, I know I got a little heated at certain points, but I think it's necessary uh, at times. And I don't think I should have to tone myself down to make others feel comfortable anymore. Um, I also like there's been times where I haven't felt comfortable, I guess, enough to call people out on things if uh, what they've said hasn't been okay, um, especially towards me or even others, uh, like about others, but not necessarily about the people that are there in that room, if that makes any sense, uh, because I don't want to be, uh, like at all, like I don't want to be that guy at all times who's the quote-unquote ethnic guy who's 
angry. I, if that makes any sense, I don't know if it does. Um, I think I've become more comfortable with myself, and I think I need. It's still a journey that continues to do uh, to um, happen every single day or whatever. But I think there's still a way to go in being comfortable with being able to speak up in front of others, um, especially for myself, because I barely do that. Like, I have stood up for other people before, um, if someone said something rude to them about them in, while they were in the room. Um, but sometimes if someone makes a uh, slightly racist, I mean, there's no such thing as slightly racist, it's just racist or not, but a, a racist joke or a racist comment or saying that, um, Oh, life is also hard for white people. I'm like, you guys don't understand that this is literally not what this is about. But I also don't necessarily want to be that person all the time who calls people out. It's like, it's such a... It's crappy to, I guess, have grown up um, basically thinking I don't have a voice and then realizing I do have a voice, but then also being afraid to use my voice. Um, and this is like not a uh, uh, please feel bad for me because of what I've been through at all. This is just my experience and that's what I'm sharing with you. Um, because there's definitely people that have gone through worse things and uh, all that obviously. And uh, as much as proud as I am of my ethnicity, I am not the quote unquote most ethnic person in the world. And most people when they look at me they assume that I'm Italian or Greek or something or I'm um, Spanish or even like just quote unquote, I guess white, um, Caucasian, but I've still had things that are racist happen to me, and so I can't even imagine being even darker or even um, more visibly a minority, um, and I just can't imagine living that life and how hard it must be. Um, I just think that we as a people need to just do better and be better and. I don't know. I, I feel like I could ramble on about this forever, and I think it's an important topic. And uh, this episode got real serious real quick, and that's fine. Um, and like I'm getting emotional right now too, and sometimes I feel guilty about that because I know it's not necessarily about me, but sometimes it sucks being an empath um, because I just sometimes feel too much, and then I feel guilty. For having those feelings and then um, I feel guilty for not doing enough you know it's just a journey and I'm just trying to do my best in spreading love and joy into the world and making sure that I'm not adding to the horrible things that are happening to the world if I can't necessarily take them all away you can do your best to make sure that you don't add to it um, and that's one small step that can make a huge difference in the world if we all do that um, and breaking down the things, like the systems that have been built to suppress people of color. And and it, it, people, like I heard, I've heard this quote so many times and it's such a good one to live by, I guess, or um, to understand. The system is not broken. The system is working perfectly. It was built the way it is and it's working that way. Um, I'm sure that I could have said that better and uh, I'm sorry if I didn't, but it's true. The system is not broken. It was built the way that it's working right now. Um, I'm also so over people saying that Canada is not racist and they're always like, oh look at the US, they're so racist, haha. <laughs> Canada is racist. They were both built in the same way, um, on stolen land, and that is not okay, and we haven't done enough at all. And I can still say we, even though I'm not, I know I'm not the one that did the wrong necessarily, but I, this is the country that I live in, and uh, we've not done enough to um, atone for all the wrong things that uh, we've done to the uh, uh, indigenous people of this land and that's not okay like continuously reading about all the horrible things that happen still to this day is not okay and we need to change that um, and I could just I apologize for this episode getting so serious so quick. I think it's a necessary conversation to have, and I didn't necessarily want to have it in this episode, but it happened, and that is okay. Um, 
I still hope that you guys enjoyed it. it um, and even if you did it, if you felt uncomfortable, I think it's time to be comfortable with not being comfortable because people of color and indigenous people have been uncomfortable for so long and um, we need to do our part to make sure that we're not making things even worse um, and do our part to break down the systems and, and the systemic racism that's happening in all over the world but especially North America right now because um, you can only do so much at all at once and trying to make small changes in the community that you're in is the first step I think um, and yeah and uh, getting back to the original topic of this episode um, just enjoy wearing makeup enjoy expressing yourself that's all that really matters um, with that at least and, uh, and don't let others take away your shine uh, don't let others define what you are and um, you know you, who you are and if you don't that is okay um, it's a journey to find yourself and it's okay to be on that journey no matter how old you are um, don't put pressure on yourself on that kind of a thing please because it's taken me 26 years and it, there's still a lot more to go for me um, and I know others that are like I know so many people that like they've told me so many times that I'm young and I still need like there's gonna be so many changes in my life that's happening and uh, I need to just be open and like let things happen and be comfortable with who I am um, so if people that are like 38 or 40 or whatever like not that that's old but you know what I mean like older than I am are telling me those things and saying that they are still going through changes and figuring themselves out then it's it's okay to just let yourself be and let yourself go through those changes and um, growing as a person is always going to happen and it should always happen you should never be stagnant so yeah just uh, love yourself and express yourself with makeup as much as you want or as much as you don't want um, all of it is okay and uh, I just do you and be you and don't let others um, define that for you um, again I am sorry that this episode got so serious so quick but hey that's life and uh, I think that the conversations that we had today are necessary to have please if I've said anything wrong or incorrect please correct me and please hold me accountable because I I want to learn and I don't know everything and I want to continuously be open to learning and not assuming that everything I know is correct because I'm sure it's not um, and if anything I said isn't please let me know um, DM me email us or or just I don't know comment and that's not even for like clout or whatever I don't care about that really at all um, this is all for fun for me but I just I want to learn so if I've said anything um, incorrect please tell me anyway let's uh, move on to Jackie Lynn hello what do what do I weigh? Oh, what do I weigh? What do I think about makeup? Oh my god, I love makeup. Uh, I love wearing makeup to like do anything. I love wearing like a full face, even if I just it's a good big grocery store. I have to make sure that I'm I'm wearing makeup to the to check mail to throw out the trash. Um, literally anything I have to wear makeup well I don't have to wear makeup I want to wear makeup because I know that I'm a 10 out of 10 no matter what even when I'm not wearing makeup but I just love love looking glamorous and dolled up um, I got my eyelashes done every week um, I just I love it and I think others should try it and not like give a shit about what others are doing like if I'm wearing makeup and you're not don't fucking judge me because that's stupid and you're stupid and it's like why do you care? Okay, you're so welcome. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, girl, you better pop off, sis. Um, yeah, you wear that makeup and don't let anyone tell you that you can't. Um, just do you be you. All right, let's get to today's question. Talk of shame. Today's question comes from... 45 year old twink. Oh, okay. Come on, twink. The question is, whose fault is it when you queef? Um, 
that's so hard to answer because I don't think it's anyone's fault really I think it just naturally happens um it's like air pressure and the way the person's moving I guess I don't know I don't think it's anyone's fault I think creeping is natural and uh there's been such a I feel like there's been such a stigma put against it um I feel like whenever I was in high school or college or whatever people would always be like oh creeping that's so gross um but it's like what it's literally air pressure and the way that you're putting something in um an orifice um and that's just natural like like when i was in college and high school whatever people were like oh queefing a togo and it's like who cares um especially as a person who isn't the one that queefed it's like why would you make the other person uncomfortable about it um, i'm sure that they feel or they shouldn't but i'm sure they do feel like i guess a little subconscious about it so just i don't know make them feel comfortable um I just, I don't think queefing is a big deal at all. I, I just don't think queefing is a big deal at all. It happens all the time, naturally. Um, and I've never had an issue with it happening to me or to another person. Like, it's just, it's so weird to me that people um, care about little things. I mean, I guess not weird. I get why some people can be self-conscious about little things like that if they don't feel comfortable with themselves or with the other person. Um, but I think that it's time that we all do feel comfortable with ourselves and it is time to feel comfortable with the person that we're sleeping with because if you're not, you should probably not be sleeping with that person anyway. Um, but that's a whole other issue. I'm sure there's lots of reasons why that can happen and uh, I'm not judging. I'm just saying that we need to do more for ourselves to be comfortable um, and be okay with speaking up if we're not comfortable in a situation. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that's all I think that I really have to say on that. I think I've uh, rambled on enough in this episode, and uh, that's okay. I think all the things that we said were good and necessary, but uh, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you, smooches. Jacqueline's views, opinions, and advice are all hers, and for lighthearted fun. Please do not take anything she says too seriously. They also do not reflect the opinions and views of MNP. Thank you.